nuts edge control with Eptam in Summer Fallow. Nuts edge is one of the most difficult to control weeds in Arizona and worldwide. It is perennial and it spreads vegetatively with below ground tubers that can stay viable for many years. Both yellow and purple nuts edge are common throughout Arizona. Most of it is purple which is the more difficult to control of the two. There are a few herbicides that will completely control nuts edge and it is so prolific that even fairly high levels of control last only one season. Most herbicides need to be used for several consecutive years to keep this weed in check. When nuts edge infestations get worse every year, it can become beneficial to combine summer fallow with chemical treatments to break the cycle and to get the problem under control. One of the most effective and economical treatments for nuts edge control is Eptam combined with summer fallow. This technique can be highly effective, but it can also completely fail if proper application and cultural practices are not followed. It was developed 25 years ago, but it's still often misunderstood. The following six principles are important for this technique to be effective. Number one, both above ground shoots and below ground tubers must be destroyed. Emerged shoots will provide nutrients for the production of new below ground tubers. Viable below ground tubers will produce new rhizomes, basal bulbs, and above ground shoots. Tillage and some herbicides, such as glyphosate, can be used to destroy above ground shoots. Number two is Eptam is one of the most volatile herbicides available. It is lost in several ways including microbiological and photochemical decomposition, but the most common means of losing Eptam is in the irrigated southwest by contact of water. It volatilizes from irrigation water off of wet soil and leached deep in the soil. It should be incorporated in a dry soil where it will remain active for much longer period of time. Number three, Eptam works on those parts of the nuts edge plant that are trying to grow. That's for the rhizomes and the shoots. It works best on stressed plants, but will have no effect on nutlets that are dormant. Enough moisture should be made available to stimulate nuts edge growth, but under stressed conditions. And irrigation may be necessary, and once the top six inches is dry, the Eptam should be applied and incorporated. Number four, chemical tarp is created with the surface application of Eptam that will prevent shoots and rhizomes from reaching the surface. The surface should therefore be left as smooth as possible. Any untreated area or breaks in the soil from implements, wheels, or even footprints will allow emerged shoots to survive. Eptam should not be applied too early. And that's number five. It should be applied in April or May because of possible degradation prior to the period of rapid nuts edge growth or it shouldn't be applied too late because of decreasing growth and potential injury to plant, fall planted crops. And finally, number six, to avoid injury to following crops, irrigate at least 30 days prior to planting. The Eptam label specifies do not plant cotton or crops not listed on the Eptam label for 90 days.